that's what we can do. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. The King James authorized version says tribulation there. Okay. Whenever we have tribulations, whenever we have these problems and trials because of what Christ has done in us, because the peace that we have of God within us, because of the process that we're aware of that God is doing to us, he's taken the spirit of God, has taken the word of God to conform us into the image of his son, the son of God. There's a process that's taken place. Now, whenever we're thrown into the fire, we can rejoice because we know that God is not done with us. Right? God has something else to do in my life. He has a, a little bit more for me to do that possibly I am not ready to do at this point. Therefore, he allows some suffering, some troubles, some trials to take place in my life. And I'm going to rejoice because I know God is at work in my life, teaching me something, getting me ready for something so that I can be used for his honor and for his glory. Does that not make sense? But all oh, our self-centered, selfish world, our infancy in Christ, our childhood in Christ, we're such babies that no, we don't get to that point spiritually. Hello? Say amen or on me, but let me know you out there, right? We whine and carry on like little children. We have a two-year-old temper tantrum. Then we just throw a fit right in the middle of whatever it is that's going on. We're doing anything but rejoicing. Hello? Everyone smile at me. I really can't see your faces that good because of these lights. But I want to hear your smile. Let me hear it. There it is. Eldon and Barbara, it's so good to have you guys back today. All right? Good to see you. Everybody give the Lord a hand, right? They've been out for since actually the first Sunday of March when we kind of had to close the doors. Good to see you guys back. So we rejoice, too, when we run into problems and trials for we know that they help us develop endurance. <laughs> what are these? Listen, we're going to rejoice when we have troubles and problems and trials because we know a process is taking place. These troubles and trials, tribulations, they are developing something within us. They're developing our endurance or our patience, right? Maybe the reason so many people, when they accept Christ as their Savior and they start living for the Lord and then they're faced with possibly their first persecution or their first heartache or their first valley experience, they run and flee and they thought, oh, I just thought this thing was going to be so much more grander than it is. Maybe it is that they have, that's why they don't have the endurance, the patience, right? Right? Because they're not allowing, they don't have the right perspective to allow these trials to work in their life, to, in, to develop endurance. Look in verse 4. And endurance develops strength of character. That patience develops what the authorized version, version says, experience, right? Which is strength of character, which makes you stronger in the Lord. There's a process that's taking place. Problems and trials, which is tribulation, is developing endurance, which is patience. And endurance develops strength of character. Patience develops experience. And character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. You want to have hope? then you're going to have to have the right perspective whenever you go into the problems and the trials and the struggles and the persecution in this life. Because God is developing something within us. He's developing that endurance so that we have patience. He's developing that strength of character within us so that we have the experience that we need so we can turn around and minister to other people here on this earth. And that character that is being strengthened now is developing this ultimate hope that we have in Jesus Christ. You see, I think I shared it. I can't remember when I shared it. It was been within the last couple of weeks or something. People think that being a Christian, when you accept Christ as your Savior, that life is going to be a bed of roses. There's going to be all mountaintop experiences. You're going to have health, wealth, and prosperity. And if you don't have enough health, wealth, and prosperity, it's because you don't have enough faith. So you need to give a little bit more money to that TV evangelist. Hello? You don't find that in God's Word. 
What you find, honey, is that God is going, he loves you so much. He has a purpose for you so great. He has a ministry for you. He has a plan for your life. You're not here by mistake, but you're not ready to live it out yet. He wants to develop something within you that's called strength of character that gives you this amazing hope that you have in your salvation, that God is at work in your life. But it all starts with problems and trials and heartaches and sickness, and as we go through that, and even death, and hard places in our life that we experience, and as God is working in our life, he's developing endurance in us. He's developing patience within us. He's building character within us. (laughs) And as that takes place, now we can rejoice, because now we can see, yes, it's hard places to get through, but we're learning something there. 